Good morning everyone, welcome to PUC Online Classroom. Today I am going to start Unit 16. How have you changed? So they want to find out about the changes from the past until now because they use present perfect simples, right? So in this lesson we're going to focus about life changes, plans for your future. Okay, so what you do what do you want to be? Alright, what do you want to do in the future? So Let's begin with the first activity, which is about snapshot. So life changing experiences. So these are the, you know, life change that you might face or you might not. It depends. Sometimes you might skip some because people are different and the future, the present, the past also different. And we cannot predict that they will follow or they will, you know, face the same experiences like this. Okay. But there will be most people, all right, who will face the same path in life. It's like change schools. I think yes, most people, right? Move to a new house. Maybe your old house is not good enough, or maybe you have more money than you prefer to have a new house, all right? And that is also a change. Another change is when you turn eighteen. So you gain independence. So in America, when you turn 18, it means that you have your own independence so that you can leave. You can des decide what to do by yourself. You can live alone. All right. So you have full right to do whatever you want to. But make sure it is under the law. All right. That's another change. Because when you turn 18, you have more responsibilities if you live alone all right so that you need to find jobs things like this to support yourself and get a driver's license is also another change because when you have that license you are able to drive a car and you probably can explore the world or the place where you live all right by driving your own car you know to a certain area that can be a change and another one is graduate from college yes so people will face that some may not they prefer not to go to college so they just if they are from the very rich family they can i don't know they can come up with a business without attending the university or college so they also can succeed in life as well and that is a change but for most people yeah for sure they need education so they need to graduate from college and in America, hopefully they can go to university if they want to. But if they don't, that's okay. College is enough for them, you know, to make money, all right, to get a job, things like that. That is a change in life. Get a job, this is what we really need. Because after, you know, finishing, finishing the college or university, we need to find, you know, we need to look for a job. We need to get a job to work, all right. And... The the idea is just to make sure we can support, we can take our own responsibilities. And who knows, maybe you get married and then you are able to support the family too, okay? Move to a new city uh, in some cases, all right? Just like some of you move from your province to the city in order to study, right? You see that this is another change. So when you move to a new city, you probably see something different. The environment, the people right here, the education, so a lot of differences. Travel abroad, mm. this is another change. Maybe you experience traveling to the other countries. Yeah, if you have a lot of money, if your job is about traveling, so that can be a point in life that you can experience, you know, visiting other country. Okay, fall in love, that is. I don't know. Yeah, so most of you will fall in love. You can fall in love easily, right? And that is also a change because the relationship will be different and you will be different as well, okay? Get married. Uh, you will have more responsibilities, all right, when you get married because you are not alone anymore and that is a change in your life. And uh, whatever you have to do, you need to think about your partner, right? So... A lot of changes when you get married and there will be a lot of changes when you have children yeah so there will be a lot of, of responsibilities 
and you have to spend most of your time you know working and taking care of your kids things like that and yeah you will end up in retiring so you no longer work just because of getting old because of your age things like that all right so these are changes in life that people face even me even you all right will face the same or probably not all but most of them will face the same thing all right okay so that's it for the first activity let's go on to number two conversation I haven't seen you in ages so I haven't seen you in ages just like I haven't seen you for a long time alright so instead of saying I haven't seen you for a long time so that you can say I haven't seen you in ages long long time things like this so in this case you can listen to the audio that I attach alright Thomas and Hayden so you listen to this too and especially part B, listen to the rest of the conversation. What are some other changes in Hayden's life? So you need to find out about her, okay? And uh, let's go to the grammar point, which is about the third activity in this lesson, describing changes. You see that? So in order to talk about changes, we can use four different grammar points right here. So first one is present simple tense, past simple tense, you know, present perfect simple tense, and comparative adjective so the reason why we we use all of this because as you can see we are talking about changes so when we talk about change it must be from time to time right so we use present simple to talk about change comparing to the past so uh, we are different now in the past it's not if you say I'm not in school anymore then in the past you were a student all right I wear contacts now so Contact is like a lens, contact lens. Instead of wearing glasses, you can wear contacts, okay? So it means that in the past, I wore, okay, glasses. But now it is different. I wear contacts, okay, I'll contact lenses. Past tense, the same thing. We talk about past and we try to compare to the present time. I major in business administration. So when you say I major, maybe now you have a job and um, or maybe I don't know you have your own business to do okay but I just want to compare the differences between past and present this is these two are opposite as you can see right here present we use present to compare to past we use past to compare to present I got engaged maybe now you get married all right you get married present perfect we want to talk about the past and the present similar to present simple right here okay I've just started a new job just like Maybe you had the old job and right now you have a new job and it's not the first day you got a new job because they said I have just started a new job. And maybe recently she got a new job. All right, or I got it. Uh, somebody got a new job. All right. So they use present perfect simple to talk about changes. I have bought a new apartment. That also another change. So in order to talk about a change, you also can use comparative adjective. Uh, for example, it less it's less noisy than downtown so why maybe she live she lives in um, you know suburb okay so less noisy than downtown so suburb usually uh, not many people and you can say it's a lot of privacy downtown means a lot of people living close to each other that's why there's so much noise all right and my hair is longer now it's like in the past your hair was short or long but not long enough but right now longer now you see that so again everyone in order to describe changes you can use this for all right and I would like you to check the statement right here if they are true for you uh, check if the statement is not true then you don't have to all right so just like the first example I dress differently now what do you think about yourself do you think that past and now the way you dressed is different if you think that the way you dress is different from past and now then you can check this one all right but if you dress the same things so that you don't have to check this one all right okay so I think that's it for this lesson everybody and if you have any question about this grammar point you can leave me question in our telegram group chat and I will answer to your question as soon as I can alright thank you so much goodbye